Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill, and Merry Christmas. It's Friday, December 22nd, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. Record surge. Cancel Coco. Officers cleared. And a letter of forgiveness. It's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with you, our message of the day. But first, right now, we are seeing the biggest illegal immigrant surge in American history. One illegal immigrant woman from Colombia who passed into El Paso was released and given an asylum hearing in New York City on Thursday, January 23rd, 2031. I have batteries that expire before then. That will be just before three Olympics from now. The immigration court backlog is now at three million cases. Coco Melon. It's the third most subscribed YouTube page in the world. First is an Indian music channel. Second is Mr. Beast. And third is Coco Melon. 169 million subscribers. Massively popular. Well, there's a new video of theirs of two dads telling their son to just be you as he bounds out of the closet wearing a tutu. And they're picking out clothes and he puts on a tiara. Coco Melon is one of the most popular things on Netflix as well. Over 600 million hours watched. Throw a little transgender propaganda in there for your kids as well. Three officers were cleared on all charges in the death of Manny Ellis, a black man back in 2020. The jury acquitted all three men of second degree murder and manslaughter. Lawyers made the case that Ellis died of a drug overdose, not from the officers on top of him. He was on meth at the time. This happened three months before George Floyd died. Last week, three hostages who were held by Hamas were shot and killed by the Israeli Defense Forces. The IDF soldiers thought they were a threat and opened fire. They turned out to be hostages. One of the moms of those boys wrote a note to these soldiers and said, I wanted to tell you that I love you very much and I hug you here from afar. I know that everything that happened is absolutely not your fault and nobody's fault except that of Hamas. Don't hesitate for a second If you see a terrorist, don't think that you killed a hostage deliberately. You have to look after yourselves because only that way can you look after us. Nobody in my family is going to judge you or be angry. Not me, not my husband, not my daughter, and neither would my son. We love you very much. I'm Mike Slater. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve and Christmas. The great Bill O'Reilly has your message of the day. Next. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low cost month to month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out of pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800 925 7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote 800 925 7584. 800 925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Friday, it is Christmas time, as you know, but no longer does the occasion unite us. Today, our ferociously secular society, driven by the woke media, basically ignores the actual reason we celebrate Christmas. To refresh... It's to honor the man who brought Christianity to the world. That man was Jesus of Nazareth, an observant Jew who lived more than 2,000 years ago in Galilee. The Christian philosophy that Jesus articulated is simple. Love your creator, God, and love your neighbor as yourself. That core tenet has made Christianity the most powerful movement in history. Despite a myriad of distortions coming from dissenters, as well as corruption inside the Christian community itself. Man is imperfect, to say the least. 
1870, President U.S. Grant declared the calendar birth of Jesus, December 25th, a federal holiday, so everyone could get a day of rest and relaxation, even atheists. Jesus would have wanted it that way, because he loved everyone equally. And one final thing. If every person on the planet had the strength and motivation of the Nazarene, this world would be a far more peaceful and prosperous place. Merry Christmas. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Mike Johnson, Atlanta, Georgia. I do believe that if Trump ran his campaign on his accomplishments, uh, he would win. He'd pull the majority of independent voters over. Uh, many of the undecideds are fearful. It's going to be four years of revenge from Trump. Okay. I absolutely understand every word of it. I don't know what Donald Trump would do if reelected. All I know is what he did when he was in there. Barbara Flaherty, Hallam, Pennsylvania. Merry Christmas, Bill. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, another fact-filled year on the record. Wishing you and yours all the best. You and your team work very hard to present the best information. I am relieved Holly is better. Enjoy your time off. Um, my staff works very hard. You know, they're all over the country. It used to be when I was on Fox, everybody was in New York, and we'd have our meetings. In play. Now we have the meetings on the phone. And they're everybody we're all over the place. But the discipline is the same. They get segments, they get research, and they have to do it, and it has to be accurate. And when it's not accurate, I can be a little testy. I admit it, because I have to impose that discipline on my staff. Can't make mistakes here, because we are so much better than the network news and the cable news. We are light years better than they are. And if you think I'm bragging, okay, I'm just stating a fact. You watch an hour of the No Spin News, listen on a radio, and then you tune into any other national broadcast and you compare information flow here to there, I rest my case. Uh, Alice, so happy Holly is doing well. I have great admiration for all the outstanding vets. Hats off to Dr. Jeff Young of Denver. Well, the doctor would be happy to hear from you, Alice. Look, it's not easy to find good doctors for people, much less animals, but they're out there. I, I told you, I had, to, I had to go through a number of them before I got the guy that saved Holly's life. And he literally saved her life. In a moment, something you might not know. If you or your business is falling behind filing your tax returns, or if you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes to the IRS, please listen carefully. The Biden administration just unveiled an $80 billion plan to modernize the IRS and reduce the unpaid tax debt. Are you tired of the IRS letters, levies, liens, or wage garnishments? You do not have to face the IRS alone. Hire Anthem Tax Services. They can help you settle your delinquent tax problems and all collections, and may even be able to reduce your back taxes significantly. If Anthem Tax Service cannot reduce your current monthly payment with the IRS or state, or they don't put you in a better position, you might qualify for the 100% money-back guarantee. Please call Anthem Tax Services, 800-810-9193, 800-810-9193, Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 79 years ago today, the bloodiest conflict of World War II raged in Belgium. For five weeks, American soldiers repelled Hitler's final attempt to save the Third Reich from total destruction. Here is the story behind the Battle of the Bulge. After the invasion of Normandy in June 1944, the Allies began their march towards Berlin. The Fuhrer devised a desperate plot to regain control of Europe. In December, 400,000 German troops and 1,500 tanks rolled into the Ardennes forest of Belgium. The U.S. Army was outnumbered two to one. The surprise offensive caught the Americans off guard. Hitler believed he could encircle the Allies and force President Roosevelt to accept a peace treaty with the Nazis. Obviously, he was wrong. 
The ensuing battle was one of the most brutal events in human history. For 35 days, one million men waged war on each other in sub-zero temperatures. 20,000 Americans were killed in action. Another 70,000 wounded. 100,000 Germans perished at the Bulge. When the fighting stopped in early February, the Allied front remained. Hitler's mission had failed. In April 1945, the Russians reached Berlin and the Third Reich crumbled as Hitler committed suicide in his underground bunker. And here's something else you might not know. The Battle of the Bulge was the first time the U.S. Army integrated white and black soldiers. Though the military was not officially desegregated until 1948, the desperate situation at the Bulge allowed African Americans to join the fight. 3,000 black troops participated alongside their white counterparts. For more incredible stories about America's quest to vanquish Nazi Germany, please check out my book, Killing Patton. And the old general was really the hero of the Battle of the Bulge. Back after this. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly, no spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. (laughs) 